Hello everyone, today on my page is super rare beauty, ah, first of all because it's a uh, black tick and second because it's 120 volt version which is extremely rare these days, it's in a beautiful shape, you may see the heads, technically nowhere a uh, complaint from customer, wow and flutter is uh, at the level he don't like it. Let's see how it plays. Okay, left right channel, not even on the playback. Let's see, wow and flutter. Wow. Yeah. Okay, it's uh, not super big, but it's definitely not stable. Okay, what I will be doing? Uh, I will, first of all, remove tape transports, uh, do lubrication and new belts, uh, and then we will measure and fight any wow and flutter issues. Uh, I remember this deck is pretty hard to remove the front uh, cover. So, I mean, like I said, holder cover. Uh, so I need my two hands to do it. Then we need to remove top panel. And we need to completely remove the front panel to finally get and remove the tape transport. It's a little bit on the complex side of exercise, but that's how they designed it. They never saw that this DEX will last for so long, for more than 10 years. Okay. So let me start disassembling and I meet you right there. All right, I removed it, uh, cover here and top cover. And that's how this deck is uh, made inside. Technically it's fully replicates 8030 model just with a DC motor, not direct drive. So not a big difference. Uh, when a good motor, good bells, it can play really well. Specifically when it was new, but over time the SunQ tape transport say they gave me like a headache in trying to bring them to spec. All right, let's see what we can do here. Okay, finally I get to the mechanism itself. It's six screws on the top cover, two screws on the front here. Right, we need to remove the side panels and we need to remove the front panel. And that's where we need to remove this nice uh, volume rocker, a knob and two knobs from here. All right. Now, I believe these two screws down there, remove all wires and I would be able to pull it out. As complex as that, unfortunately. Okay, finally, I made it free. So it can be fully disconnected like that. That's a good uh, because like uh, not every deck allows us to fully remove the transport, as you know. So what's the difference? Standard SQ transport plus additional motor to open close the door. That's it. All right. Now let's start the assembly and lubricate. And I see the belt technically is a good belt. I'm not sure if it's original because it don't have factory marks, but it's thin belt and it's in the good shape and it's not stretched. All right, so I'm not quite sure how much I can do with this transport. Let me put it aside. And now I need to free it up space. Give me a second. Okay, I have opened the door and I see the pinch rollers. A specifically left one has kind of glass surface due to complexity to clean it in this deck. And I believe you may see yourself. So this may be well a root cause for elevated wow and flutter. So we would need to replace them. What else I see is this deck has a pretty specific mechanism to adjust a left guide. So you see this teeny screw here with green mark 
is locked, it uh, maintains the height of the guide. So we can safely remove this earring, replace roller, put everything back, and the height will be in place. That's the difference with thank you. I cause of the Kamichi transport. So, all right, moving on. See you soon. Okay, I just replaced the pinch rollers. Okay, and I was going to replace this belt. I wonder if he's, it, it still looks fine, but uh, here I see that's the difference with uh, Nakamichi. So, we have here is a motion sensor and we cannot easily remove it. So, I would need to remove this reel really to, to be able to do it. Really unpleasant surprise because belt just don't fit in between. Okay, see you soon. Okay, I just have a new belt installed, that's the old one, and as you remember I'm installing these PRB belts, so it's russellind.com, okay? So that's the best belt recommended on all forums for Hanq tape transport, so let's try to make maximum out of this deck. See you soon. Aha, uh -huh. looking into these color straps, I may tell you the deck was serviced before. That's why the belt in a good shape. All right, so let's disconnect. Open and see the parts here. See you in a moment. Okay, finally I get in. I was able to remove this motor plate. I had to remove this door lever to get access to the screws. And the belt technically is too thick. It's almost one millimeter thick. It's still stretchy, still like not bad and, and round. You see where room cup stands inside. It's shiny because like when the belt is installed, it, it's like uh, use like 300 degrees around uh, take up capstan and just like uh, 30 degrees below this supply side capstan that's where the slippage is happening on this tape transport and that's how it's maintained tape tension okay so we will install this thin belt this really thin belts and like i admire them Let's see how it may improve or not. Owner also said like if it's worth to replace this motor. 12 volt counterclockwise. I'm not sure I would need to, to check how it's performed. But I don't want to do the work twice, so let's see. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm mentioning that Capstan shafts being lubricated, but when I open it, I see that it uses thick lubricant, not liquid, for the bearings, and like that's what I don't like. So this needs to be cleaned up now. <sighs> okay, let me do it. It they still rotate like fine. I would not tell like specifically the supply side. This one a little bit more tough, but I don't see lubricant there. Okay. So let me see what I can do because this mess needs to be cleaned. See you soon. Okay, guys, I had to thin, thin up this like uh, cotton swab shaft, not shaft, like stick, and use a little bit of uh, cotton to clean up those like lubricant inside because it is just you see, it's right there. Probably I will do a couple more like iterations. To make sure that I will clean up as much as I can and then I will use the proper liquid lubricant so these bearings can soak it up. Alright, see you soon. Okay, cleaned and now with new lubricant, that's how it rotates. Very easily, see? Just a little touch and it goes and goes and goes. Pretty nice results. I hope it would not be a problem anymore. 
Now let me assemble and let's see how it will perform. All right, everything is assembled, new thin belt installed, everything rotates smoothly. What else I mentioned? When I was installing capstans inside, right? Uh, on the front, uh, like they, like first of all, they were not rotating easily, but when I make it a couple times back and forth, there are like really thick pieces of the old lubricant come up from the front. Uh, I was able to clean them up additionally, and now like everything rotate like super easy. That's how important to use a proper lubricant because I believe it was automotive lubricant installed. I'm not sure who was servicing it, but so for brass bearings, it's it's not the proper solution. It's 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 fine like for all other slowly moving parts, but for parts which rotates, like the heat generates, and this uh, lubricant will get even thicker due to heat, and like uh, will prevent from smooth rotation. All right now, assembled new belts, new rollers. Let me install it in the deck and let's see results. See you soon. Okay guys, um, we're running. And what I didn't understand, they put motor and adjustment is back there for the speed and there is no access. How they think about it. I had to create <laughs> this as a screwdriver <laughs> to adjust the speed. See, 3.4. Wow, it just jumped high, 3.7. Something is still around 3.2, 3.8. I need to see more what else I can do with this tape transport, but uh, that's getting interesting season. Okay, guys, everything I do, I cannot reduce wow and flutter on this deck. And I'm checking like left side supply 9 grams, take up 50 grams, everything is correct. I'm um, not quite sure what I can do else for this deck. I lubricated everything. I changed it two belts already. I tried to uh, clean up everything, lubricate everything, did full service, new pinch rollers. And after all, still wow and flutter about 0 0.1. I don't like it. I'm already did all I know for the Sankyo. I believe capstans are not balanced. That's the root cause. Take a look. Really? And if capstans are not balanced, that's the maximum I can do. Why they don't, I have no idea. Over time, maybe something will change it, but. That's what we have. So it's it's really shows like three gears, three and a half and seven gears. It's two main frequencies. So that's when they are not balanced because I check it up. The belts, the like uh, capstan surface on the back, capstan shaft surface on the front, belts, how well it pulls, like everything, everything. And it still don't give me like lower values, all right? Unfortunately, that uh, probably would be it for this deck. I will just tune up electrical parameters, make sure that it's tuned properly, we'll return back to the owner. But uh, the main point, like probably cup stands needs to be balanced because surface is clean. I check it with cotton swab, there are no any single bumps, so it's, uh, it goes smooth on the surface. Surface on the front is clean, is good. Uh, we have a really good tangent for the tape. Everything is nice. So, that would be it for this video. Uh, I hope that I would be able to fix it, but that's as max as I can go. It's approximately at the same values as it was before. All right, thank you for your time. See you in my next adventures and bye-bye. Well, I decided to film a little bit more because I just was testing and tuning this deck and I found that it's records to type one tape for pretty high frequencies. So let's see together 
what we will get. So far, I didn't like uh, adjust the like, levels too much, so it's minus three decibel, I believe. Let's see how well it goes. It's, I mean, like uh, on the computer, I didn't adjust the levels to have exact zeros. We can do it, so give me a second. I will adjust my audio interface to match levels. Come on. It's very sensitive. All right, and now it should go exactly at minus 20. But it's type one and it's records perfectly well to 20 kilogears. Uh, what else I was not surprised, was like not pleased with. Um, the high amount of bias which gets to the output. Uh, the filtering is not perfect in this deck but you may see how well it follows the minus 20 decibel really we can even zoom more like that it's very linear Sixteen kilogears, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So up to twenty kilogears, really type one tape. So that's how cool it is. All right, that would be it for this part. See you. Okay, guys, assembled, plays super well, records super well, like all tape types to twenty kilogears easily. Uh, Dolby tape testing Diana Schur, one of the tapes I received it sealed and this made from digital master copy recorded with Dolby B and it plays perfectly well high frequencies without Dolby they're like way too much high frequencies and levels everything tune it, calibrator unit tune it records very well Right, so the only issue is wow and flutter. I tried to eliminate, I did everything I could. The next step is only to balance capstance, and that was I don't have tools and desire, really. All right, really nice deck, plays perfectly. I hope owner will be enjoying it. Thank you, see you, bye bye.